Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm starting a new project. Um, I decided, you know, uh, to make a lot of different long necklaces and then we're gonna create a lot of different pendants that you can wear with those long necklaces. So I decided to call it Project Long Necklace. I will create a separate um, playlist that I will always leave a link in the description box in all those different parts that we're gonna be working on. And first I want to start with the necklaces. As you can see, I already created the three different necklaces and I'm working on the fourth one, which is uh, herringbone, tubular herringbone. So first I decide, first I thought, you know, I'm gonna create them all, you know, create tons of different pendants and then start the project. But I think I will get bored in the process. I, I need to, you know, change between things. Even when I work on my collections, you know, I always stick different, uh, different tutorials in between. So same is gonna be here. Uh, you will know it's the project because it will always be in the title, Project Long Necklace, and we'll start, you know, gradually working on different parts of it. First, I will try to finish as many necklaces as I can. As you can see, I already created spiral rope, and then uh, this is chenille rope, graduated effect, black and teal, and then I created here a pro long necklace as well with graduated black and gold and here I was also working on herringbone switching to green here didn't finish this one yet so today I wanted to start with a spiral necklace uh, we're gonna be starting with this one and then I will try to finish up all the necklaces first rope necklaces first and then we're gonna start working on different pendants so this is going to be the number one in the project it's really nice rope necklace and when I'm doing my necklaces I'm making them all 80 centimeters, but in the tutorials, I'm gonna be making them 70 centimeters. So, you know, I have two different lengths to work with. So this is 80 centimeters and I'm gonna be making 70. And you'll need two different uh, colors of Toho for this. I'm gonna be using a terracotta color. And as a core color, I'm gonna be using turquoise. I think they go well together. Then at the ends, the way I attach the clasp, you will need two 6mm beads. Here I used uh, black diamond 6mm fire polish. I'm gonna leave uh, all the color codes in the description box for both of the necklaces. So here I'm gonna be using two natural stone beads at the edges. And then you'll need a clasp. I'm gonna be using same clasp. This important part is the clasp. You want to make sure you are using a one side has to be small enough for you to take the pendant through. See, this part is quite small, so I can take the pendant through it. So make sure that if you want to work on this project with me and, you know, create all the long necklaces and then work on pendants, you want to make sure you have a small enough clasp that your pendant can go through. So I'm going to be using same hook clasp with this one. And because of my colors, I'm using gray Naimo. And uh, I always, I'm going to be working with size 10, but you will end up having to go through some tight spots, especially when you're attaching the clasp. So I always have size 12 handy. That's the smallest size of needle I can work with because the smaller they are, thinner they are, and you know, they bend a lot and I really don't like bending needles. And then of course you will need scissors to cut the thread. So go ahead, get the materials ready, take a comfortable length, you'll be adding a lot. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box to a short video I made on how to add thread to um, spiral uh, spiral uh, beading. So go ahead and check it out if you don't know how to do that because I won't be doing it in this video. So I'm gonna thread my needle and then we'll get to work. So I have my beads ready, I thread my needle and then we'll just get to work. Now I'll be using turquoise as a core bead and I'll be using this uh, terracotta color as a side bead. So I'm gonna pick up four core beads. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna pick up four side beads. One, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna drop it down. I'm gonna leave a tail of a about a foot that will be enough for me to attach one side of the clasp and then I'm gonna just hold it down and go with my needle through the first four core beads and then pull the thread and then that should keep the beads in place now first we add it doesn't really matter how we added it it's always the same from here there's a difference um, we'll be adding one core bead. I'm gonna drop it down. 
And now here, what is important is where you add your next four side beads. Like, see, I have to add it either on the left side or the right side. It depends which way you want to go. Like, I'm a right-handed. I prefer to always go on the left side of the previous four beads. But if you are left-handed, you might do it otherwise so just bear with me once we have a short uh, length going on i will explain you why i prefer to put on the left side of my previous row so i'm gonna pick up four side beads and then go and then uh, i'm just gonna push it here go through top four core beads and then pull the thread now here it's easier to explain when I have the second row. What I do with my previous added row, I'm gonna push it here. Then pick up one core bead, drop it down. Pick up four side beads. Go through four top core beads. You always go through the four top And pull the thread. Now I have a new row. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push it downwards there. Pick up one core bead, drop it down. Pick up four side beads. One, two, three, four. It's a bit difficult in the beginning, but you can do it. Go through the first top four not first, go through the top four core beads and pull the thread. And now once we have four rows, you can see how it's going upwards. So I'm gonna pull it here, pick up one core bead, drop it down, pick up four side beads, and go through the top four core beads. And pull the thread. Then what I do, I push it down. So when I push it down, next four rows I'm at it always comes on the left side. So because if I turn it over, it's on the right and I add it on the left. I'm just pushing it downwards. And the reason I do it when I add my uh, another core bead and then plan to add the next four side beads, I have this opening here that I can add on to. So if you're right-handed, this is probably easier, but if you're left-handed, you'd be probably holding it on your right hand. So you want your opening on this side. So that's why you would probably want to push it the other way around. Not So I'm pushing to the right side and adding on the left you would probably want it to push it to the left side and add it on the right. So it's just, you know, you, you want to do it a short length to see how comfortable you are in different ways. Like I could do it both ways, but my comfort zone is to do it this way. So I'm going to pick up one uh, core bead, drop it down, hold it in place, pick up four side beads. See, I have an opening on this side, go through the top four core beads and pull the thread and then again I'm gonna push it downwards pick up one core bead drop it down pick up four side beads one two three four and go through the top four core beads and pull the thread Then push it down, pick up one core bead, drop it down, pick up four side beads, one, two, three, four, and go through the top four core beads and pull the thread. So if you probably realize that you just how you continue and look, you have your spiral going on. Very easy stitch, very continuous. So if you knew it's like a perfect stitch for you. Pick up one core bead, drop it down. Pick up 
pick up four side beads one two three four go through the top four core beads and pull the thread push it down pick up one core bead drop it down pick up four side beads one two three four and go through the top four core beads and pull the thread and you just go on like this until you have your required length now i'm going to show you what i'm going to do this one i made 80 centimeters this one i want to do 70. so i'm just going to measure my clasp side which is from 6 mm to 6 mm which is approximately five to six centimeters and then it's about just over two inches so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna continue until you until i have 65 centimeters of the spiral then i'm gonna meet you here and i'm gonna show you how to attach the clasp now this is my length you can do your own you can make it 75 you can make it 80 you can do 78 you can do it 50 whichever length you want it's just it's my project which i decided to call long necklace project i'm, I'm gonna have long tubular chains and i'm gonna create a lot of different pendants and charms to go on it so it's just what i'm doing you can always do it your own way this is guidance tutorials you don't have to do exactly what i'm doing you can just you know make different changes to it so it's entirely up to you so i'm gonna meet you here once i have 65 centimeters of this spiral and i'm gonna show you how to attach the clasp as you can see i have my necklace almost done i went ahead made 65 centimeters of the spiral rope and then i went ahead and attached one side of the clasp so we're gonna go go ahead and i'm gonna show you how to do that on the second side now before we attach the clasp i wanted to explain you something once you're finished see you have uh, that's how it ends you added the last four rows of the external beads and then you end up with this bare internal beads and once you attach the clasp when you're wearing it it starts moving like this so all this and double jumbling and then it sort of you will sort of end up losing that spiral shape at the ends now to avoid that what i did look see that's my last external four rows and what i did i ended up adding more smaller rows so i cover that bare part so you kind of stopping these beads moving that way so that's what we're gonna do so I added my last row of external beads and from there I'm gonna pick up three well side beads and then I'm gonna go through the top three core beads and pull the thread so what you're doing you're actually sort of continuing that spiral downwards and then I'm gonna pick up two side beads and go through top two core beads see that's how it looks and now I'm gonna pick up my 6mm bead drop it down I'm sorry it's sunny but I think you can still see what I'm doing and then I'm gonna pick up seven external beads plus my clasp so I picked up my clasp plus seven external beads drop it down and now i'm gonna go through this six mm bead and pull the thread nice and tight so all those top beads at the loop are nice and tight and then i'm gonna go through two core beads And pull it nice and tight now here one moment I wanted to explain I went ahead and attached my clasp with the loop if your clasp has a very small hole you probably don't want to do that what you can do you can just go ahead and do the loop first and then once you are done you can just attach any clasp with a jump ring so that's just another thing you can do but I went ahead and attached my clasp straight away and now here I'm gonna pick up two beads external beads and go through the 6mm bead and straight through some of the beads there at the loop and then 
I'm just gonna take my thread through all those beads. And straight through six mm beads as well. Now I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna take it through the two core beads. It's going to be quite tight in there, so if you want, you can switch to size 12 beading needle if you are struggling with size 10. But I think I'm doing fine. And then I'm gonna pick up two more side beads. And then go through 6mm bead and straight through some beads of the loop. And pull the thread. And then go through all those beads at the, of the loop. And then when I'm going downwards, I'm gonna go through 6mm bead. And you can't really see the core by now much, but you can just push the beads aside and go through some of the core beads as well. See, I came out of the two core beads. I'm just gonna pull the thread. And we are done attaching the clasp. And now I'm just gonna get rid of the tail. I'm just gonna take it away from that place, going through some core beads. Going to be nice and tight in there, so take your time. Now here I'm coming out here, so I want to find the one that's going through. See, I came out of this bead, and you can see this side bead's going in that place. So I'm just gonna go through two beads here. And then I want to make one knot. I'll take my bit further down. And then I'm gonna go up here, this two beads. And then a bit more maybe. It's already quite in tight in there. I think I can just manage one. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the tail. And we are done. Look nice and neat edges. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm loving this bronze clasp. Had it for ages, but Sometimes, you know, you kind of fall in love, sometimes not, so, but this time I think it just looks gorgeous with this, uh, with this necklace. So this one is 70 centimeters, this one is 80 centimeters, so I have two long necklaces ready. In the next tutorial, I'll try to cover another of the long necklaces, or maybe I'll just add some other tutorials in between, like I always do. But I, I hope you guys will stick with me for this project. Uh, some of you might like tubular projects, some of you not, but I I'm, I'm trying to make something special here. We're going to create a lot of different tubular necklaces. Uh, this one and then the other ones I showed you. I just finished my uh, uh, this herringbone as well. Look, gorgeous herringbone necklace. So all this is it will be part of this project. So, you know, we'll be working on tons of tubular necklaces and then I'm gonna start working on a lot of different pendants you can wear with those necklaces. So you, as you can see, I'm creating a lot of different color combos. So what, whatever colors I use for my pendants, I will always be able to find one necklace to go with it. So you can choose your own colors. You can follow my color combo. It's entirely up to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Feel free to share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.